the Joe Rogan experience. Right now, it's slightly difficult to talk about weight loss because I've been obese and now I'm not obese and I'm I celebrate not being obese. I am much better off with the way I have structured my life because of having lost weight. But I can't tell anybody else to do that and I don't even really want to. If somebody wants to be overweight, if that's a trade-off they're willing to make, yeah. that's fine with me. But I think for the most part, most of the people I've spoken to, they don't want that. A lot of people seem to have goals that generally line up with mine. And then in talking to them, now there's this diet culture monster in the room where even that is attacked because there's a whole new set of values that are born that must be enforced. And mm -hmm. at some point, there's got to be the recognition that we don't all necessarily have to want the exact same stuff. Yeah. There's also so much biological variability, right? Like yeah. The things that would work on another person just don't work on you. You know, the sure. thing, yeah, including diet, you know, there's... Oh, man, arguing about diets is another great one. And this, I, I, I really like talking about diets simply because there's, at the end of the day, it's so much safer than politics because there's no military backing up a diet system. But like, <laughs> you, know, you talk about politics and it's yeah. like, we have a fucking military mm -hmm. to force you to do the shit we want you to do right. versus the other military that's going to force you the other way. But diets, it's like veganism versus carnivore. If we're just talking about weight loss, the other thing, some of these things get into like the minutia of health. If you've got a guy who's got 200 pounds to lose, why are we focusing on the minutia of health? I don't know that that's the right goal. If the goal is just weight loss, I don't think these are the same, the, these are the same conversations. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think the the variety there's so many different things that need to happen to a person to force them into action. What do you think is the key things? Is it is it inspiration is is motivation is sometimes is it that you don't want to die or you don't want to be sick any longer that you're fed up or is it being inspired by a guy like David Goggins or Cameron Haynes or someone like that? For for me it, for the very first time in my life, I I was thinking about the future in a way in terms of what I wanted out of life versus just like what makes me happy right this second. And I was seeing a girl who I'm now married to. We have a bunch of kids and, and I couldn't have a better life. Like 20 years ago, if I described to you the life I wanted in that moment, I've way surpassed that. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like I have to take a step back occasionally and go check you out. Look what you did. Yeah, that's amazing. That's at amazing. 500 pounds. I was not thinking I can be a dad. I can be a husband. I could teach little kids how to do stuff like this was not part of my I can't I could take my wife on a hike. I could go to the beach with her and not, you know, sit under a towel in the back because I'm scared of people looking at me. These were not the thoughts I was having. So that sp spark of motivation of like, what do I want out of life got me just so far because after an extreme diet, when you've crashed your metabolism and you then, and by the way, the, the, your body is fighting against you tooth and nail doing these things because this is your body thinks you're starving to death right you know and so it's trying to slow everything it's down slowing everything down um over long periods you're not just consuming fat you're consuming fat and lean tissue like it's fucking tough all your hormones are fucked up you're you're uh, i forget the name of the hormone but there's a hormone that makes you hungry this is skyrocketing when you're on an extreme extremely uh caloric deficit diet and so then you go to like just eating like a normal person and you're watching what other people eat and you're eating this and you're fucking putting on weight again like at a rapid pace and going like this doesn't make sense. I thought I was cured. I lost all this weight. Um, I, I watched a really fascinating TED talk by a guy named Mike Isratel about five years ago, four or five, five years ago. And in it and I had tried – I was dead convinced that I was allergic to – carbohydrates and so i was like i'll never eat a carbohydrate for the rest of my life you thought you were allergic to carbohydrates i was convinced that everybody yes that everybody was 
gluten intolerant that the way that we made bread in America with all the ingredients was just poisonous to the human body. I was totally convinced of this. And I watched this TED talk by Mike Isertel and in it, it's called the, uh, the Dietary Landscape of Healthy Eating. And he just goes over like, just be moderate. That's it. Just like try to figure out moderation. Nothing's poisonous. Nothing's off. The, like salt. If you have no salt, you can die. If, if, you're, if sodium disappears from your diet, you can die. If you have too much salt, it can kill you. Like there's a, yeah. an amount, five grams, I think, at one time. And, and this was, I believe this study was done on small bodies, can kill you. It can be fatal. So is that poisonous or is it necessary? It's both. This is food for me. Like um, the way I was interacting with food, the idea that I'm a machine, like you, you're a car guy. You're not going to put diesel fuel in your gas car. You're not going to do that because it's going to break it. And, and I had to start really thinking about food in these terms and going like, I just have a bad relationship with food, a, a relationship that is giving me an outcome I don't want. How do I change that? Like utterly. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data costs all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience. 